Hey dolls! Okay, so as you guys know, as I mentioned before, I have gotten new lighting and a new camera and I am still messing with the settings and all of that fun stuff. So if my teeth look yellow or if my skin tone is weird, if I look reddish on my cheeks or something, I'm still trying to get the lighting and the settings on the camera about how I want them. So if something seems a little bit awkward or weird or the angle is weird or I'm in a different spot. Uh, bear with me on that. But today I'm going to do a video that was kind of requested by a few people and I thought it would be kind of fun to sit down and do. But I'm going to talk to you guys today about my current favorite lippies or like my favorite spring and summer lip colors I guess you could say. So yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and go right through these. So the first thing isn't actually a color but I do absolutely love this stuff. It is so amazing. It is the Victoria's Secret uh, Beauty Rush uh, lip gloss and it is minty shine. This, like I said, it's a totally clear gloss, but it smells so good. And not only that, but if you get some on your tongue, it tastes amazing too. You're not full blown supposed to eat this or anything, but it does like taste amazing having it like on your lips and everything. And I am completely and totally obsessed with it. And this is awesome for chapped lips. I apply this stuff every night before I go to bed. And I find that when I wake up in the morning, my lips are just still like rejuvenated and they were moistened nicely overnight and whatnot. So um, I do love this. And this is going to be very soothing and stuff because of the mint. If if I were to accidentally sunburn my lips in the summer or something, the peppermint is really like nice and cool and soothing to maybe um, either chapped or burnt lips. So I do love this stuff so much. Okay, and then moving on to the, uh, well, I have one more that's kind of just like tinted. I just recently picked this up. This is the Rimmel London, and I'm not sure what these are exactly called. Oh, they're just the lip balm, I guess. And this one is the one that says keep calm and kiss and mainly I'll be honest I just got it for the packaging because I saw it all over Instagram and I thought it was so cute I just like had to have it um, but I just love the packaging and it photographs so beautifully um, so if you are a person that wants to that takes pictures of your vanity or like display or you display your makeup and you take pictures of it for your blog or your Instagram or whatever um, this is definitely a very beautiful product and not only that but it smells really good. It smells like candy. Again, it's it's kind of more like a baby lips, so it's a lip balm that's more tinted. I'm not sure if this has SPF in it or not. I kind of just threw away the packaging, but um, I do love this. It is very beautiful, and it's like, it's kind of like a light corally, more on the pink side, but it is still gorgeous for those, like, I don't know, uh, spring months. And again, if you're going to be swimming and stuff and you don't want to put on like a full lip color, you can just throw this on your lips and it still acts as kind of like a little bit of a tint and it's very moisturizing as well since it is a lip balm. And then the other one that I have been loving, I do have another one of these as well. It's a coral one, but this one is in Gumdrop and it is a NYX, um, a NYX Butter Lipstick, and so these are actually more like a balm, I find. They're more like a tinted lip balm. Um, they're really they're really creamy. They go on so nice. They glide perfectly. This one is a gorgeous Barbie pinky color. The coral one that I have, I'm not sure if this is picking up true on camera, by the way. It's kind of more of a more of a neon one, and it doesn't go on. I guess I could swatch these for you guys. It doesn't go on as thick, but you can see it still kind of tints. You gotta kind of put this on just a little bit thicker um but it is it is very beautiful and I do love that one so much as well okay so for the lipsticks for the actual solid lipsticks I have two MAC ones you guys have seen these in my MAC lipstick collection the first one is snob and it is more of a pinky nude this is my favorite pinky nude I've ever owned in my whole entire life it's the second one right here and there's just something about this color that is like so perfect it doesn't matter what I'm wearing on my eyes I can wear this color and it will go so greatly with it I just uh, am obsessed with it and this certain lip color all these lip colors go really well with the um, pink peony blush by Mac it's like a dolly pink color and I just wear that on a daily basis and I find that it just looks so pretty um, but there's that one and then the second one that I have absolutely been loving is Saint Germain and it is more of a pale Barbie pink so it's like a lighter Barbie pink Again, you can't really tell on camera, but 
it's it's just it's absolutely stunning and I just I love it it's like a bubblegum pink and I guess I love it so much because that's like the colors of my walls are bubblegum pink and then I have um, three kind of liquid lipsticks uh, the first is the liquefied long wear lipstick and this is the melted one from Too Faced and this one is in melted peony and it is just it's it's more of a deep color but it is so natural and neutral and oh my gosh these things smell so stinking good oh my gosh I don't it just smells like straight sugar like it's so delicious but here's this one down on the bottom so you can see it's a little bit more mauve and a little bit more nude but it's still beautiful and I do definitely want to get my hands on more of these if possible because I, I bought this one as like a tester to kind of do like a test out first impression type thing and I absolutely am addicted to it. I think it is so gorgeous and it is such a nice natural color that you can kind of wear carrying over into fall. So I will definitely be wearing this a lot and it wears so well throughout the day. And then I have two, um, two more of the wet to dry kind of lipsticks and the first one is this velvet lip cream. I'm only mentioning this one first because you guys have heard me talk about it many times. I think it was in my April favorites but um it is from bonita cosmetics so i think it's bonitacolors.com and this one is in barbie's muse and it's just a very gorgeous like hot 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 barbie pink it's a little bit more purple than candy yum yum from mac but it is absolutely gorgeous and as i mentioned in those videos you can get this for like $1.99 or $2.99 off their website but it does have a really really horrible horrible smell to it i don't know why but it's just it's pretty awful but the other liquid lipstick i have is the jeffree star in queen supreme and i did end up actually buying two of these when they first launched um i stayed up all night like until they launched so i could order them and i was gonna get 714 but i was kind of iffy on corals because i never really wear corals that's why i bought the nyx uh lip butter so i could kind of just like test it and see if i liked it or not before i proceeded getting any other l coral lip colors and that's what i suggest you guys do too is go to your local drugstore and buy like a dollar or two dollar lipstick in any color and then see if it looks good on your skin tone and then you can go buy the higher end MAC one or the higher end Too Faced one. You know, just to get an idea of the actual color on your face, you can buy the cheap drugstore ones. And because I hate buying, spending $15 on a lipstick or something and then me getting it and not liking how it looks on me. So that's just kind of an idea for you guys. Um, also, definitely check out swatch videos and stuff on YouTube. But this color is so beautiful. It's even more purpley then um, I'll do this one up and down right here. It's definitely more purpley than Saint Germain and it's a little bit deeper but it is so beautiful as well and this one is one of those ones that starts liquid but then it dries and you have like kissable lips. Um, it's supposed to be kiss proof and eat proof and all that fun stuff and last throughout the day. So that is actually it for my current favorite lip products. Let me know if you guys liked this video up and if you want me to do my favorite my current favorite eye palettes or my current favorite blushes. Well I only have like two that I've been using but you know just certain face products like current favorite palettes current favorite mascaras current favorite whatever and um, yeah just let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of those and like this video up so I know that you guys liked it and with that being said I am gonna go ahead and go I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all in the next one so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you